All right, let's try and slam one of these videos out. What's going on, everybody? Just gonna cut right to it. Thanksgiving's over. Black Friday's over. Yeah. Um, so that, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Just trying to catch up. Um, been uploading some of my recent, hmm, I'm gonna say box breaks, stuff like that. Just been getting some cheap cards, um, sort of. Just because I'm bored with stuff, so I figured, hey, why don't you pick up some things? Speaking of pickups, I don't know if I've ever shown this. I finally got the USA release of the Michael Bisping book. Um, might be the first non. Uh, I think the only book I really read on a regular basis is scripture, so um, I don't know when I'm going to get into this. I haven't heard any reviews on it, but as most of you guys know, this is my favorite fighter, Michael the Count Bisping. Um, yeah, I don't know if I talked about this in another video or not, but never really looked up to any um, sports athletes or people when I was younger as role models, but uh, this guy is a motivation to me. Um, guy is from the UK too, but now he is a USA citizen. Um, this guy's actual USA, not, not like a green card, he actually has citizenship now, lives in California, pays his taxes like an American, so um, I don't know if I'm going to just like spot check on this book or what try and find some good spots to jump in but there is pictures so that'll help me get through the book when I do decide to read it um, and mostly would like to get this signed um, so I'll figure out a way to do that I do have his, his address uh, from a care package he sent me several years ago which still looks like he still lives where he sent it from so we'll see how that goes but stoked to have it my wife bought it for me for maybe a birthday gift in August Saying that now makes me feel like I've talked about this on my videos before, but I do have some cards here laying in front of me, so we'll get try to get through all of that um, just so I can get stuff put away. Uh, only Black Friday deal that I got for myself or that wasn't a gift for somebody else um, was I did cruise over to Michael's yesterday, um, being Friday. Cruised over there, got through the checkout at just like 10 after 12, so they still let me use the 25% off an entire purchase, and the frames uh, from like these frames here are like 27 by 40. It's been a while since I've had to buy any, and in the other room is where my kids uh, play video games and occasionally, regularly fight, <laughs> and uh, have broken several of my frames, so I have a bunch of them sitting in the corner of the other room on a big Lego table that uh, I'm going to remount. So I bought four frames. I was surprised to see the price was $48 retail. They were 50% off and then um, I got an additional 25% off my entire purchase. So I ended up getting four of those frames for under 80 bucks, probably around, right around $75. So not bad uh, to score those. Uh, so I'm looking forward to messing with some cards. So I wanted to get through the stuff I've had piling up for a bit in my work bag. And uh, so yeah, let's just jump into it, guys. Um, got a letter here from Hot Sauce Scott Holtzman. He hooked up, he hooked it up with a big decal, Hot Sauce um, Combat Club, established in 1983, must be his birth year. And check out this, these inks, um, I got, some of this new chrome done, uh, 2019 chrome. So here's the base, he signed up in black really, really nicely. And then check out this sepia, or the sepias from the blaster boxes. Hooked up the sepia in just a really hot, uh, flowing silver. Silver is not usually very good TTM because a lot of the guys will get a brand new silver right out the package and start signing, it's real streaky. Um, I will show four of the five cards I got in a trade from, from a guy on the TTM MMA Facebook group. I was super stoked to get a, a really important card uh, for my set. I think I'm just going to do the, I'll show you the set card now. It's, I'll, I'll get to it and show it to you. So I haven't even taken these out of the penny sleeve yet. I remember uh, getting this Rashad Evans. Not this exact one, not this one in my hand, but... I've gotten Rashad Evans on this 2009 main event before. I remember um, selling it off to a guy who was doing the complete set of mm, 150. Um, so nice to get this back. I do. I did keep my hands on the gold version of this, but it's good to have the base back in the collection. Um, and just because he had it, this is a complete on sticker and probably a, a 10 autograph of Ryan Darth Bader. Um, 
I don't know if this, no, this is not his first, his first auto. Um, I did get an upgrade for my 2010 set. That would have been a nice segue, but I have one more card to show of Matt, um, the bro riddle. Um, he's now the NXT uh, prospect. And then I got this because of the inscription. I already have this card on this display right here. The landscape moment of truth collage. Um, but this one has some handwriting on it that says, uh, thanks. Thanks for support with the number four. Right there. Daniel Cormier. So a really nice signature. And then you guys remember, I don't know if you guys do remember, but this is the card I found out. This is the last card I found out that I needed signed for my 2010 1 to 200 base card set project. Um, I did get the, the Brock Lesnar, and I got that PSA DNA certified, but I had needed this one. And I met Amir Sadala in Chicago and did not get this card done. I got his other card in the set. This is a highlight reel version, so this is like all the way up in number... 194 so the base set goes to 180 and then there's these highlight reels I think there's like 20 of them and that takes it up to 200 so you guys may or not remember I bought this card for like three bucks shipped so I could peel this off just with a razor blade you're gonna pull up you're gonna pick up the corner and then just slowly peel it off with a little bit of heat added well this guy storm had a list of cards written out on a sheet of paper and it said Amir Sadala and I was like I bet you it's going to be the 2009 main event Amir Sadala and I asked him for a picture of it and it was this one so this one now completes my 1 to 200 2010 UFC tops series 4 set base sign set and I was going to show this off um, along with the update so yeah, I don't no I no longer have to peel off the certified auto sticker and stick it on here or have the guy being punched, um Phil Baroni right here. He's being cracked. I don't have to have him sign it just to get the set card done cuz I did actually TTM one of these cards off to Maryland, uh some sort of a private residential address, hoping to get a mirror to sign. But it it's been out for several months, a few months and I doubt it'll ever come back. So this actually does help me complete my set. And there is one, one more card that I need to sign. And I'm gonna end up trading somebody to get that, but I don't really wanna say anything more about it. But there is this one more one more card that I wouldn't normally collect, hint, hint. Um, and I'm just gonna trade a guy for it. I have um, a fighter that he wants from my collection who has passed away, who obviously will no longer be signing, so he has saw some of my cards, and um, I'll be trading off of his eBay um, to get his to get the card off of his eBay. Uh, I forget how I got this one. I think I got this one uh, from the same person I got those other four cards from. I got this from a person who got this from him, and I wanted it for my collection. Um, so I got uh, this is Carlos Condit, and that's his autograph right there on this top ten fights. Um, I picked up this for like six bucks shipped. Uh, this is um, Yoshihiro Akiyama. I'm gonna actually peel this sticker off and put it up in this collage. I'll take it, I'll take you up here and show you. I got his card. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Let's see. I'll put my finger here. So there's his card right there, and that's the only one in this collage that's not signed. So I'm gonna peel off that certified auto. I'm going to stick it on that card um, just because that's what that's what I'm going to do. And this is actually numbered out of 149, but that means nothing. Uh, so I'm just going to peel this off like I did in the past for this series and consider that a completed set card. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, yep. So let's go through this. this is, these two cards are from, from my buddy Neil from in person. Um, we got Ryan Bader. Ryan Bader is that guy right there. So I got this one done and that one done. And there he is right there versus uh, Big Nog. I think that's, I think that's versus the, uh, not the little Nog, Big Nog. Uh, also got this in a trade from the same guy. I think I got this one also 
from the guy I got this one from. This is Nico Price, signed it in silver on the bottom on the 2019 Chrome. And also this one as well. So I think I got three cards from Carlo uh, on the TTM MMA group. And this is Ponzi Nibio. And there's his chicken scratch right there. Yep. Uh, sent off a couple cards from the 2019 Chrome to... Uh, I'm sort of all over the place here. I didn't prepare for this video. Chris De La Roca. Really nice, nice, huge signature in black. Uh, ended up seeing this guy fight live des uh, last December here in, Mo here in Milwaukee. He was the opening fight versus... Um, some guy you guys don't remember or know. <laughs> but he was the opening fight. Um, Adams. Juan Adams. Something like that. So he sent me a card. Uh, sent me a note back because I gave him a card to keep and a penny sleeve mark for him to keep as a thank you for signing. And his son actually wrote me and thanked me for the card. So it's from his son Quinn. And there's a little note here from Chris. I dig that stuff. You know, that stuff's cool. Uh, I think the rest of these, another trade I got from a guy on the TTM MMA group uh, was this um, 2017 Chrome. Yeah, 2017 Chrome, Chrome of TJ. I used EPO Dillashaw, so he uh, lost to Henry Cejudo trying to capture the 125 pound title. Uh, and then he was subsequently stripped of the 135 pound title um, and is on like a two year suspension. Let's see if there's anything else in here that's a TTM. Nope, everything else here is going to be in-person help. So let me just rip all these out the binder. Because I got a whole sheet here of uh, in-person help from Boston from my guy, hmm, Kenny. Kenny. So I sent him a whole bunch of promos and cards in exchange for his help. So it wasn't really a 50-50 or a consignment. It ended up being just a big in-person help. Um, and then ended up being a trade. So he got me a bunch of Joe Lozans. Uh, let's go flip through them here. Joe Lozan, sort of on the dark spot. Easier to see in person, but use the blue. Another Joe Lozan on this um, 2014 Champions insert, 2015 Chronicles. Let me see. Here's another one on Octagon of Honor. Joe Lozan, it kind of looks like a wing nut. And what's this, Victorious Debuts. Wingnut, Joe Lozan. Let's save those for near, for near the end. Let's see what this is this one. This one was a Dominic Reyes. He's going to be fighting John Jones. Nicely signed there in blue. At least I think so. He threw this one in. This one must have been an unprepped card because I didn't have my sticker on the back of it. I label all mine with a sticker on the back. This is Walt. Oh, it's actually his uh, stepdaughter was recently found. Um, her, her remains were found. Um, his stepdaughter um, in Alabama or Mississippi was kidnapped and uh, found to be murdered. Uh, this is a nice upgrade of Jean Volante on a 14 Champions. Nicely signed in blue to replace a streaky silver one. Check this one out. Lucas Bedazzle of the American Gangster Chael P. Sonnen signed in blue. Happy with that. Uh, then he got three of three, or three of six for me. I'm glad he, uh, I filled um, two, two of these sheets full of cards, and in one of the pockets I put these three cards and another three cards for Yair Rodriguez, and thankfully he pulled out these three cards and got these done, because the other three were not very, uh, there weren't cards I really wanted to sign very much, but I wanted these signed more. So uh, really nice to get these signed in silver. Um, and then this one really cool with his uh, with the Mexican flag or the Mexico whatever you want to say you know the Mexican flag and then these super happy to finally get these done I know my buddy Neil probably has these in the, in the pile to get done at some point I'll have to tell him scratch that but uh, the godfather of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Hoist Gracie he was the UFC 1 and 2 champion Love this uh, Chronicles, just because I've wanted to get it signed for a long time. So that 15 Chronicles is knocked out, and he's actually numero uno right there in the set. And then this for the round one set, also being numero uno, 
Aki, right there. He's fighting. He's on top of one glove, Art Jimerson in this. Let me see if I can get a focus. Focus. There we go. So yeah, nicely. Nice to get the round one signed for the set. And then out of nowhere, uh, he also got me, picked up these promos for me. So here's the one. Let's see if I get a focus. super dark there we go eh, that's bad so sorry guys I screwed this up real bad give it a shot there we go that's a little bit lighter there we go so here's the one James Krause and then picked up a Daniel Cormier oh there you go sign right there last but not least another Joe Lowe's on. I picked this up just because it was kind of a novelty thing, kind of a cool thing. So just to give you a perspective, here is a 24 Champions insert. And look at that oversized Joe Lowe's on right here. Um, 2014 Champions oversized promo card that they were giving out at. Um, must have been you back in 2014 at the um, UFC International Fight Week, or as they call it, the Fan Expo. Not a big fan of Joe Lozon, but I, I dig the card. It's an oversized tops card. That'd be pretty sweet if they had a whole bunch more of these. But, but there probably is a bunch more of these of the fighters that were signing for tops at the Fan Expo or at the Fan Experience, whatever they want to call it. Um, so yeah, check out my other video of the epic fail of this box. Terrible, terrible box. Did not go DK's way, but it was still fun to rip some product and get a buttload of base cards. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm caught up. I can get these all put away. Yeah, that's it, we are caught up. I can start putting stuff away and play with my cards tonight and then uh, fix those collages and get them back up on the wall. So everybody, have a great um, couple weeks leading up to Christmas. And that's it, hopefully we'll see you guys soon with some more TTMs as I'm sending them out now, um, now that I'm done with coaching. I actually have some free time during my lunch hour at work. Just stuff like that. I can squeeze in some letters and uh, get some mail flown in. Because uh, everybody, like, everybody likes to get TTMs in the mail for bills and all that other kind of stuff. So that's all I got. Thanks for checking in with me, you guys, and hanging in until the end. And uh, looking forward to seeing your videos and your successes. So that's it. Be good to yourselves and each other. I'm sure you deserve it. Later.